Welcome back to the Goat Lock for Straight Talk, where I talk about my retirement journey, money, politics, and current events. All four of those issues all turn back around about your money and your retirement, because we want you to have a successful retirement. Hey, the other day I read about a survey from Bankrate.com, and they asked thousands of Americans if they had $1,000 put away for an emergency, and half of those people said they didn't. I find that disturbing the least. I'm just taken aback by that because here I am, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm at the mall. I'll give you a quick turn around here. I'm at the mall. Every parking stall is full. Every restaurant, there must be about 50 restaurants, are packed. Um, so I asked myself, what the hell is going on? Why is this phenomenon happening? Why don't people have a thousand dollars put away for an emergency? And I came up with a few reasons. Number one, number one, it's probably the big one. You heard me say it in my other videos. They don't know how to manage a budget. That's a fact. Obviously, there's no budget. Okay, without the budget, you spend willy-nilly, the money's gone. Number two, well, hell, they might not have never been taught. If you've never been taught how to do a budget or save money, you're not going to how to do it. Number three, since COVID hit, People are thinking they're going to live their best lives and just live day to day without thinking about things. And number four, lastly, um, the world has changed. And folks who make, you know, fifty to $100,000 a year, which is not bad income, especially the latter, um, they spend it on medical bills, on stuff that probably isn't important. They have car payments and just life but they don't manage it well. And I think that, that could be one of the issues here that are arising in our world. But all that being said, I may have a solution if folks want to hear it. If they don't, I get it, just move on. And my solution would be, I'm a bucket guy. I love buckets. I have a, a bank that I put seven, eight, nine accounts in, and I call them buckets, right? One for travel, one for savings, one for an emergency one for house maintenance, et cetera, et cetera. And guess what? It's time to travel. I don't have money in my travel bucket. Guess what happens? Shocker, huh? We don't go and travel. That's what happens. That's how I, that's how I roll. It, it is what it is. It might take you a couple of years to do that, but if you're able to manage that and just put away a little bit of money each pay period, if it's monthly or bi-weekly or whatever, you, if you could put some money away that way, You'll be surprised how much you have. And they're individual buckets for a reason. You don't take from Peter to pay Paul. That money is designated, locked in for that aspect. And your long-term savings bucket, which may be only $50, $100 a month, whatever it is, you don't ever touch that. It's like a lockbox. All this stuff, what I'm saying now, takes discipline. It's easy to say from me, sitting out here, walking down the the boardwalk, so to speak, of the mall. But unfortunately, that's just the way it is. You got to have a discipline to make this happen. Without it, you are not going to make it in retirement, and you're never going to learn even how to get to retirement. Try the bucket strategy. I hope you think this video was worth something. Hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll get back to you. All right, y'all. Take care. God bless. Straight talk out.